John Hudson. Taylor Jones. Lindsay Lawless. <laughs> Catherine Massignot. <laughs> Chelsea Murphy. Scott Perkins. <laughs> Seth Pippen. <laughs> Felicia Robertson. Ashley Silva. Austin Smith. Steven Sullivan. Jeff Toy. <laughs> Martin Trujillo. <laughs> and Vinnie Worley. Dr. Ellis, we have one more ring to present to our alumni who is here with us today, our alumnus, Dr. Doug Wilson. <laughs> and now, before you can sit down, there is uh, one more presentation I think Dr. Wilson will make. Uh, Dr. Ellis, you don't know about this one, uh, but Dr. Ellis, you should know this, he's actually trying to start some sort of a Honorary Alumni Association, whereby someone who didn't necessarily graduate from Howard Payne, but uh, perhaps they just love Howard Payne or they married someone from Howard Payne, but maybe they could become an honorary alumni. So we all know that his undergraduate institution was not Howard Payne, and it's a university we, we, don't, we don't mention uh, very often. But uh, we're going we're gonna to help him become a little bit more of a yellow jacket today by receiving his very own heritage ring. share reflections that you have for a moment. We'd love to hear from you. I'll be glad to do that. It's exciting to be able to be here today and be a part of the first event of a new tradition. And you guys ought to remember that. <laughs> I can promise you there will come a day <laughs> when that can be a great thing to you. But I think it is exciting and you will have many opportunities to reflect back on this today as I have over the years. Uh, that we have spent since I left the hallowed halls of Howard Bank and became a part of the world. Uh, many traditions that we build up while we're going to school, uh, many experiences that we have while we're here, uh, many of my experiences were tempered to some degree by the fact that I worked full time while I was going to Howard Bank. Uh, to be able to pay for my education while I was going through it. 
although I was blessed to have received a partial scholarship uh, based on my academic results uh, for the years, and that made a huge difference. But it was a very busy uh, four years of my life. But then again, life hadn't slowed down since then either. <laughs> yeah. I married Deb, and we had two kids, and we spent three and a half years in the Navy, and it just goes on from there. So you, you will always have opportunities, and you will always wonder where you're going to get the time to do all that has to be done. But with God's blessings and God's grace and God's direction in your life, I can assure you, you will find the time. You will take the time to do those things that are important to you. Make sure the time you take to do things is on, do, on things that will be meaningful both in your life and in the lives of others. You know, I guess one of the greatest traditions that I learned at Howard Payne was how to study and how to learn and how to grow. I'm still practicing those traditions, I assure you, okay? I am bound and determined I'm not going to be left behind by the technological age, okay? But the, one of the other reasons that I can enjoy that is because the things that are important to me in my life and in our family are things of eternity. They will go on forever because I trust the God that gave us the world that we have the opportunity to study from to learn from and to grow in and believe me I will assure you having studied that word through all of these years there's always something new to learn. And it will be extremely valuable to you. And you will enjoy it if you will focus on it and work at it. Turn it over to the Lord. Trust in Him and follow His leadership as you build the heritage that you want to live. What is the dash between the beginning year and the end year going to mean on your tombstone at the end of life? That is a very significant question to think about. You want to enjoy the rest of this year, have a great time. I hope you don't get bored and run out of anything to do between now and the end of the semester. I kind of suspect you won't, but I hope you really enjoy it while it's going on. Thank you for letting me share this morning. Would you please stand for the singing of our alma mater and remain standing for our benediction.